everyone and welcome back. It's KP George here and this is tutorial number three. How to attach a camera to a moving object. Okay, now we've got a bit to get through today because there's a fair bit of um, configuring in the script to actually get the camera in the right location. So what we're going to do firstly is quickly throw our unit down and get him to call the camera. Okay, this exit camera.sqs has got to go into his unit line. Okay, you should already know how to do this from the first tutorial, so we're just going to move along there. Okay, today we're going to want him to follow a Humvee, so let's just go and insert a car on the map. Alright, Humvee M2 will do. Give him a name, something like man, oh not man 1, sorry, car 1. So that we can call him in our script. Okay. And we're going to make sure he's ungrouped from your unit, we don't want that, otherwise he's going to spawn somewhere behind you. Okay, that looks good. Right, yeah. So now that we're ready, let's go in and preview. What we want to do here is just set our first location. It doesn't really matter where you set it, so just left click as soon as you get in there and hit escape. Now we want to alt tab out to our notepad or whatever text editor you're using. I'm using notepad because it's on every uh, Windows operating system and that's what most of you will be using. Okay, now let's go have a look at our script. Before we do jump into there and um, check that out, I'll just give you a quick tip because um, if you're going to be alt tabbing or jumping between programs, Arma 2 seems to love to crash. So what I'd recommend is saving every step before you decide to jump out into your text editor or before you do anything. So yeah, basically, just save it. Okay, so now that we've got our text editor open, I'm using Notepad by the way. You can use whatever you like. But, um, I'm just sticking with Notepad because that's what most people are going to be using in Windows. Okay. Now, um, you can see I've already gone ahead and configured all my script ready to go. This is, um, I'll just quickly explain. This is um, creating the camera, and this is destroying the camera. But we don't have any locations yet. That's what we just done in the editor. So what you want to do is right click in the middle there and just paste in the first location, so make sure it looks like that, that you've got create above and then destroy below, otherwise you're going to end up all mucked up. Okay, now let's just start off, this is the camera that we just pasted in, okay, and I'll just quickly run through and explain what it means and what it does. Okay, the first line is the time that the camera was created in the editor, okay, that's not really important, but just leave it there anyway. You can change that and, and put the name in just to let you know where you are in the script, but we're not going to worry about that just now. Now let's just have a look at this line. This is the focus point of the camera. Okay, these coordinates here are the, the point that the camera is going to be looking at. That's the first line. And the second line, this is the location of the camera. Okay, this is the camera is going to be created in these this location here in re relation to the actual focus point of the camera. So it's going to set these numbers based off these numbers. Okay, this is the zoom of the camera on this line. It's usually a default 700 zoom, but if you hit the um, minus and plus key on your numerical number pad in the actual editor, it'll zoom in and change that number. Okay, the less the number is, the closer the zoom's going to be, the higher the number is, the further away. Uh, the next line, that's how long it's going to take to get to this camera, but we're going to start on this camera, so we're just going to leave that at zero. And the last line, that's telling it to play the camera. Okay, so it's going to tell it to set the camera, all the coordinates and the zoom, what we want it to look like and then it's going to play the camera on this line. Okay, so now let's just go in and configure a few things to make sure that it uh, sets the target as the actual hum Humvee and it's going to follow it down the road. Okay, so let's go ahead there and in the coordinates in the first line, let's change that to car1 because that's what we called the Humvee in the editor. Okay, car1 and remove the um, brackets as well. So just highlight the lot and type in car1. Okay, now this is important here, we want to change prepare to set. Okay, so it should say cam pre cam set target instead of cam prepare target. Okay, cam set target. And then we want car one directly after that. Okay, that's all we need to do for that line. That's going to set the focus point on the Humvee. Now let's jump down to the second line. First we want to change where it says prepare. We want to change that to set rel. Okay, S-E-T-R-E-L. So it says cam set rel pause. Okay, now this is the coordinates in here and they're usually um, figured out by XYZ coordinates. So I'll just change these to zero so it's a little bit easier for you to understand. Okay, now X, Y, Z. X being left and right, okay. Y being forward and backwards and Z being directly up and directly down. Okay, so I'll set a couple of numbers and explain it so you understand a bit more and how it works there. Okay, so what we want it to do, we want it to be on a bit to the side of the Humvee when it's created. So we'll just put it, say, two meters to the side, 
If you don't like the side that it's created on, you come back and put a minus there and it'll move to the other side. Okay, so minus being left, positive being right. Or it might be the other way around, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now we want it to be behind the Humvee and we're going to follow it down the road. So we're going to put in a negative number there. Let's just say we want it two metres behind as well. And let's move to the y, uh, Z coordinate, which is going to be up and down. We want it to be a little bit above, so we're just going to leave it as two. If we wanted it to be a bit below the centre, we'd put negative or minus. But we're just going to leave it there like that for now. And that should be two metres to the side, two metres back and two metres above. Okay. Now that's pretty much good to go. We don't want to change anything else. We could zoom it in or zoom it out if we wanted to, but we'll do that in the next scene. Now, that'll set the location of the camera, but it's not going to actually follow it down the road. What we need to do there is create a loop. So what we want to do is put in the hash command key and then loop. Okay, you can put in the hash by um, shift and the number three at the same time. Then you want to move down to the bottom of your first scene location and you want to put in go to and then in quotation marks put loop. Now what that's going to do is when it reaches this point it's going to tell it to go to and jump back up here to loop. What it's going to do is just keep circling through that loop until we tell it to do something different. We're not going to do that just now, we're going to jump back into the editor and we're going to have a look and see how that looks. So let's go have a look and see what we've done. Make sure you save it first with the .sqs extension. I've already saved mine and just overwritten it so I've saved mine as scene.sqs you can save it as whatever you want, but just make sure you put the .sqs extension on the end, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, now let's jump up. Okay, so now we're back in here, let's just import it out. Okay, yep. Whoop. Make sure you set it to unit, not group. What we want to do is we want to go and change him to scene. As you should know from the first tutorial. Okay, this exit scene.sqs. Okay, now let's just quickly go and have a preview and make sure that everything's working. Okay, now you can see that it's attached itself to the Humvee, but I haven't actually got the Humvee moving, so we can't test that it's working. So what we want to do is just quickly jump back out of the editor, give them a quick waypoint down the road, click on waypoint or F4 for the shortcut key. Let's just give him a location there, that'll do. Okay, so now he's going to drive down to here. Let's just re-preview it and make sure that the camera's going to follow him and not stay where it is. Okay, excellent. And as you can see, the camera's sticking to that location. Now, the camera's going to stay stuck on that location until we um, add in some sort of action or a command or something that's going to make it jump to the next scene. So, what we're going to do is a very simple little thing here. We're just going to add two little players, or we can 